Welcome to Crimson Guitars and welcome to the third video in this chip carving series. This video is going to be entitled something along the lines of utter failure, oh my gosh, panic! I wonder if I shouted like that slightly louder than that, if they start running through the doors and just see if I'm all right. Probably not. You know how cats are likely to eat your corpse after a couple of days if, if you don't feed them? I suspect my staff are kind of the same. Three or four days they might notice that I'm, you know, not moving anymore. <laughs> that has got to be the ultimate digression. Okay, utter and total failure. I cannot believe that I'm still in a good mood. Um, we, I blame, I blame Josh, no, uh, I blame the temperature, actually. We put some resin in, in this guitar, and uh, as we put it in, you could see that it was, it was cloudy. I applied heat, and the top half cleared up. And unfortunately, I had to go. I had an appointment that I had to get to. And uh, uh, I, I left uh, the heat gun here, and uh, Josh tried to apply more heat to clear it up more, and it didn't. We were hoping that the cloudiness was bubbles uh, towards the bottom that would rise, and it just didn't. I think that this workshop in an English winter is just too cold. Um, I, the heaters weren't on uh, that day and it just problems. So what I've ended up with is something, well, you're looking at close-ups, something very unattractive. Um, I am of the opinion that the resin itself is cloudy towards the bottom because we didn't manage to heat it up enough. Uh, James is of the opinion that there's too much glitter and that it's sunk to the bottom of each bit of uh, carving there and that is also entirely possible although it's not my opinion therefore it's wrong. Can you imagine if I was that narrow-minded? Okay I also got um, it ended up it ended up with um, resin just everywhere I should have taped around the edge of the guitar I'm sure you guys have noticed so well failure but with failure comes the opportunity to learn more. And uh, did I go into teaching mode there? I am going to see how viable it is to recarve this entire thing through the resin. Why not? Let's see. We might end up with something interesting. Because I really don't want to scrap the guitar. That would be, that would be sad. Come on then, carving tools out, back to the beginning. Well, okay, that is a little bit chippy. Okay, at this point, that's quite pretty. Uh, <laughs> Let's find some goggles. Protecteth thy eyes. Aha! I am wondering if this is going to... Uh, this isn't going to come away cleanly from the wood, basically. It's going to... Uh, it's not going to be that easy. I do hope it hasn't penetrated en deeply enough. Oh, look at that. Well, that actually... Oh, ho, ha, ha. Okay, we have a glimmer of hope. So that came away cleanly. With just a little bit of grain pull. So, uh, well. I think that what I'm going to do is put some headphones in, get some... Hmm. ACDC, Joe Bonamassa, 
Let's get some bottom mass on. And I'm just going to be out of this guitar. And uh, hopefully get rid of this. Then uh, we can go again. What do you think? Yeah? Fun times. That's going to be interesting. Because I was going the wrong way, um, it did chip some of the grain out there. I've managed to glue that back down, but I need to be more careful next time. Onwards. Success. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. This is going to be a long process. It is undeniably... It's never fun redoing work. And, uh, well, yeah. I'm redoing work. But the end result is going to be, hopefully, <laughs> if it goes properly next time, uh, minus the glitter, probably. Uh, yeah, hopefully a stunning guitar. Uh, if not, well, I tried. So, uh, yeah, I think uh, we're going to time lapse the hell out of this now. And uh, I'm not going to get it finished today. I'm going to do various bits and pieces over the next couple of days. And uh, we will end up with, well, we'll end up back where we started. And uh, the end of this video I'm going to put just clear resin in uh, I'm going to make sure it's the end of the day and it's warm and hopefully uh, well hopefully that will be it success and uh, yeah <laughs> bring on the noise
done. No, wait, we're not done. We are back at the point we were at several weeks ago now, and I'm about to put some resin in. Now, what I've done differently, can you hear the sadness in my voice? There is nothing, there are a few things worse than rework going over and doing the same job again because you messed it up the first time. Uh, but it is what it is and we're there. I'm actually really impressed that I managed to recover and uh, get the carvings back to pretty much what it was before. So there we go. Now, what I've done differently is we're halfway through the day. I've had a heater on in here for a lot longer. The room is warmer. Uh, we have uh, better root, better, it's not quite as wintry outside. The last time I did this, it was actually snowing outside. So uh, the whole working temperature has been taken into account. I'm also going to mix the resin, only half fill these cavities, hit it with some heat to make it not cloudy. And then once that's happened, pour the rest of the mixture in. Uh, I'm not going to let it cure in between layers, but <coughs> uh, because that might give us, this all says it shouldn't, but it might give us a, uh, a visible join, and I don't want that. So, uh, there we go. After all that stop motion, let's have a little bit of, uh, of video. Stop motion, it wasn't stop motion, it was time lapse. Crikey. Okay, I'm also going to move to another workbench uh, when it actually comes time to uh, uh, fitting the guitar because I need to do some other work on this bench. And uh, that's where I'm lucky to have three workbenches. Uh, okay, now, first things first, make absolutely certain that there is nothing that we don't want in any of these calves. Dust, shavings, a hint of sadness, doubt of my own self-worth as a person and a craftsman. Did I say that out loud? Uh, yes, I'm very happy with that. Now. Same process as before. I'm not going to mix 200 like last time because we did have uh, some left over. I'm going to do 75 grams of each. And this time I'm going to turn the scales off. Scratch that, we're going to do 80 grams of each. Last time I messed up a little bit because I, the scales automatically turn themselves off. So I've just reset that. And. Uh, I'm just imagining that I've picked up the wrong one and I'm gonna have um, two parts of one of the parts, if that makes any sense to you. That would be quite amusingly distressing. Um, but anyway. I would say that is close enough. Now, three minutes of mixing, which you don't really need to watch. Would you like to fast lapse through that? Scintillating footage, isn't it? You might notice that at this point, I have not got any glitter in here. What glitter? No glitter. Nobody ever mentioned glitter. It isn't real. Glitter is a figment of your imagination. I try and use that one with my kids when they uh, ask for an ice cream or a chocolate. Um, oh no, chocolate's not real. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, it works about as well as me trying to teach them the concept of uh, VAT and tax. Um, i.e. I'm the government and I should get 20% of every single treat or chocolate or ice cream that you have. And uh, 
No dice, no dice. I suppose it's good for my health, but uh, I'm trying to teach them something. <laughs> anyway, this is boring. So uh, you fantastic uh, viewers, some of you have experience with this. What they have said in the comments is a figure of eight pattern when you're mixing and don't uh, lift the spatula out if you can help it because that introduces bubbles. So I'm doing figure of eights and then every now and then clearing the edges to make sure I've not missed any. Infinity sign. I don't know. Done. I need, a, I need a spirit level. That's what I need. In my shop, I have like 40. Here, nada. Quick and dirty spirit level. We have lines on the edge of this part. And the liquid is obviously self-leveling. That's lining up with the lines. That's not actually too bad. Okay, I'm looking at that thinking, hmm, I don't have enough. <laughs> so we'll see. Okay. Thus commences take two. Okay, so we want So same as last time, we're trying to have it um, going from as high as possible and uh, rather uh, thin, which apparently forces out the larger bubbles. And I'm only filling about half of these cavities so that I can apply heat. Okay, that took immense amounts of concentration. Uh, fire, fire, fire hope. <laughs> so very gently. Now what I don't want to do apparently is touch the surface too much. I don't want to make it smoke because apparently what you do when that happens is burn the... well for one you're making it smoke. Smoke is not good because you breathe that stuff in and it causes issues with your lungs like death. Um, but if you are smoking you're burning something off and it's part of one of the chemicals that makes it uh, cure so you might inhibit that process, which we don't want. So we have almost perfectly clear resin. I see some bubbles, just a few. This is, this is working a little bit better than last time. wondering if that makes any any difference it does so I have bubbles popping up on the surface as well fire is more fun than doing this must be said okay
what the open time is. Forty-five minute working time. So we actually do have. <laughs> blow gently on bubbles, or use a torch. I'm going to go blow on some bubbles. Let's see if that makes any difference. Uh, I, I torches are more fun. What we're going to do is leave this uh, for four or five minutes, see what rises, and then go from there. <sighs> nope, blowing is no effect. Fire it is. Yeah, I'm going to leave this for four or five minutes, see what, uh, see how many bubbles rise, and then we'll fill fill the rest of it. I just had a thought. This might explode in my hand, which would make a pretty awesome video. Uh, let's get rid of a few of the bubbles at source. There we go. I'm not sure how safe that was. Probably not safe because I'm worrying if it was safe or not. Don't do that at home. But uh, that got rid of a lot of the bubbles at source. I'm uh, wondering if there's a, a better way of doing that at some point. But anyway, time to pour. So pouring around the outside and rather than dropping the pour directly into the middle which would then go deep and leave bubbles in the bottom. <sighs> Is that the name of this video? Bubbles in the bottom? Um, it's gone around the side and hopefully the bubbles are still on the top layer and I haven't disturbed the stuff that I've painstakingly uh, cleared. That is looking, that is looking particularly stunning. I think that, I think that the, the glitter gave the bubbles in the last one. Glitter? I didn't mention glitter. There was no glitter. Um, it was serving as a focus point for the bubbles and I just couldn't get rid of all of them. Anyway, uh, this is this is looking this is looking good. So I'm going to uh, uh, hit it with heat one more time, and uh, and then continue pouring in the rest. Fun times. I must say, this 45 minute open time is uh, really rather handy. Die bubbles. Get the hence.
Oh, I saw smoke. Thou shalt not smoke. It's bad for you. Okay, I'm taping up the sides just in case any of it does um, run over the edge. It's self-leveling and we don't want that to happen too much. Uh, uh, yeah, for some reason my um, <laughs> uh, fiery blowy thing, uh, I went and shot you a couple of times and broke it. Um, I'm accepting no liability whatsoever. Throughout this process, I've been wondering about the heat gun anyway. And uh, it works rather well. Boom. I, I, I'm having fun. This is really cool. Direct flame does appear to be a little bit more, a little bit more effective. I've got a little, uh, That's actually one of my favorite drill bits. I'm going to not lose that. Uh, bubbles keep on forming, which is uh, rather intriguing. I'm sort of wondering I just want to make absolutely certain that it's uh, over the surface a little of the guitar. Those are for sure. Yeah. Okay. Success. Well, um, bubbles keep forming, so I'm going to, uh, over the next uh, three hours of my day, uh, come back here every 10 minutes or so, five minutes or so. I'm gonna be obsessed for a little while. Uh, heat it up, check it's going, and uh, at the end of the day, we will be back and film the final result. Yeah, this requires babysitting today, and that's fine by me, it's all good. And here we are. There are some, some bubbles in some places, but that looks a lot better, doesn't it? 
end of take two. We will be back later with more. This guitar over the next month is going to be turned into, well, a complete instrument. I'll film the process and uh, you'll see hardware coming on and uh, we'll lacquer it probably. Mm, still not so sure. Lack of finisher or the finish. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Click like and subscribe. Continue being awesome. And uh, yeah, this is probably too close, isn't it? Sorry. Cheerio. Goodbye. <laughs> I don't know what to do now. I've totally lost it. Ah!